So, it finished up full-time at their Charters Community Stadium yesterday, Winchester City 2, North Lead 2, and I'm delighted to be joined by City's manager, Craig Davis, now. Davo, obviously, we're catching up later on this time, so now that the dust has settled on yesterday's game, which was obviously a very dramatic one, first of all, talk me through your emotions at full-time, because obviously I couldn't catch you yesterday, so what, what were you feeling at full-time yesterday? Well... Mixed, <laughs> extremely mixed. Yeah. Um, I think as the days kind of gone on, I've sort of become more content with it than I was. Um, yeah, absolutely mixed. I mean, we uh, we absolutely carved them open in the first half. We should have been four or five. I don't think they could have argued four or five goals minimum. Um, but you know, a mixture of poor finishing. Um, good goalkeeping and sort of inspired goalkeeping from the young lad that they signed um, kept them in it really uh, and then uh, you know they they we uh, we we allowed them to get a goal which gave them a foothold um, and second half don't think we played as well as we did in the first uh, although you know still had sort of shot after shot a lot of them blazed over the bar which it's frustrating, and then you get the guilt edge chance of a penalty. Yeah, miss that. Um, I mean, we are probably the worst penalty taking team <laughs> ever, fair to say. Um, and then uh, a couple more chances go begging. And be fair to them, they were sort of catching us a bit on the break as well. They, you know, they had one or two sniffs as well. Um, I don't think the lads knew whether to sort of stick or twist. Really playing against a team that was, you know, struggling more so than us anyway. Um, you, you know, manager incoming in the next week, obviously. Um, you know, sort of nothing to nothing to lose really. And then what looked like an absolute blatant foul but on Jamo and, uh, and they've allowed it to go on and the lads done really well rounded. Charlie scored. I think that's it. Devastation. Um, you know, what was that, five minutes to go? Yeah. A five minutes of victory time. Um We'd probably have another three or four chances. Keeper make more saves, um, and then last, you know, last minute, last throw of the dice. You chuck Charlie up there for a corner, and he flops one in. Um, so yeah, like I say, you know, you're buzzing with that. But you know, we've got lads after a quick celebration. Don't want to take his moment away. From quick, get back, get another goal. Try to, and then even after that, there was a sort of half a chance either end. It's, honestly, it was an incredible game. Um, disappointing from my point of view that we didn't have or, or lacked control of it in the second half. We lacked, um, you know, putting the chances away that came our way. Um, but yeah, ultimately, point is always a, a good point uh, in this league, in my opinion. And I know they're struggling a bit compared to other teams, but you know they they got promoted through the playoffs via the playoffs, just the same as us. Yeah. So. You know, we're we're doing better than they've done since since their promotion or un, unexpected promotion, like ours was. So, um, so yeah, I don't know if I'm conveying it, but it was uh, it was a funny old night, and uh, I'm just grateful for the fact we, you know, we got a point in the end, which could you know could be crucial at the end of the season. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. I think um, it's interesting speaking to you, sort of. 24 hours on and in that time you you read things about the game and you see bits on social media and what was an interesting thing and you've mentioned it already was I've seen um a video on on Twitter of the dugout celebration for the equaliser and you could tell it was kind of a mixed emotion because on one hand you're thinking oh it's going to go absolutely crazy and then interestingly I was watching I was watching you and um and straight away I could see you sort of getting instructions across to the lads what were you was what were you saying at that point was that a case of right come on Let's not yeah, settle I mean, for a draw. Yeah, I mean, uh, we would never ever have settled for a draw before the game. As the game pans out, you would never ever settle for a draw. It was chance after chance, like I say. Um, and then in the second half, like I said, late on in the game, it, it got a little bit sort of end to end. Um, and then, you know, they score and you're like, you rip your arm off for a point, but then you get the goal back and think, oh, come on, for goodness sake, get, get back, get back, get back, let's get another go. Yeah. So, a bit of that really um, 
yeah, it's 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 re- like really really mixed feelings. But you know, I don't want to take anything away from Charlie. It's a great moment for him. It's an exciting moment for the fans. I'm sure they enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah. You know, in a way, they probably would have enjoyed that more than a resounding five-one win. In a way, it, you know, just just in terms of moments in time. Um, but you know, we would have, we would much rather a, re- a routine two or three nil win. That's for sure. But um, yeah, it was an exciting moment and uh, and one that will. You know, another moment that will live long in the memory. I would have thought for the supporters. I'd say so. There's always quite a few of them knocking around, and and last minute goals certainly have certainly have that feeling, don't they? Yeah, and and, and you know, let's 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 not beat about the bush. That's the third time now we've got a goal in the last minute to get a draw or a win. Um, they don't. They're not easy to come by, no. you know. And only teams that have got massive amounts of heart will get that. So, you know, we've always said that. You know, resources don't buy you a heart. Well, that evident in the fact that we've, we've, uh, you know, we've we've nicked a couple of points late on. I say nicked, we deserved them, but we got points late on and a win late on in three games. That's pretty impressive. So yeah, no, not too bad. So Charlie going up for a corner is that something that's ever been talked about, or was it one of those right? Come on, let's just throw throw everything at it and give it a go. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's not tactical genius, is it? Um, <laughs> you could have banked that. <laughs> uh, can't claim that one. But, um, yeah, just chuck, chuck him up there. He, you know, he was looking, should I go up, Davo? And I was like, yeah, go on, up you go. The funny thing was, we got another corner later on just after that. And he was like, Davo? And I was like, no, nah, he's all right, Davo. <laughs> he's only tongue-in-cheek. But, um, yeah, it was, it's, we've done it a couple of times to no avail. The funny thing is, the ball get whipped gets whipped in and he's absolute airheaded it you know completely <laughs> missed it it's gone back and then it's uh, yeah, put back in there I think by Claudio it's hit the post and to be fair it's a good reaction to, to prod home so it, yeah, it, it wasn't it wasn't tactical genius on my part <laughs> oh well you could have you could have you could have taken credit for it well as we look ahead we're at home again this weekend and um, we have a side visiting us that are certainly no, um, certainly no strangers, no strangers to a lot of the city fans. So we welcome uh, Dorchester to the Charters Community Stadium on Saturday. What are your thoughts looking ahead to that one? Uh, it's one of the early games we look for, isn't it? Yeah. As um, soon as we had the mass exodus all going, pastures new to Dorch, we, uh, you know, we we were looking forward to it. I mean, they they had aspirations. We saw. We saw that you know the lads that left us talking about promotion and wanting to win the league and all that sort of stuff. So you know there, there's no no um, two bones about it. They're expected to be up there and, and wanting to be up there, and they've done well to be that in and around it. So um, yes, yeah, it's, it's a tough game. Um, I know how's he well? The manager, you know, done pretty well against him over the years. Um, but he's a good manager. Got a good team there. Good resources. You know, set up for a big game, and it? it's going to be a good game. Look forward to it. I'm not sure if Barmer's going to be fit for it. Obviously, Mo. I'm, I'm not sure if he'll start or not. He's been in and out. Um, Kieran Douglas will, will be uh, will be returning back to us, so we'll look forward to seeing him. That's for sure. Didn't see a lot of him last year, but we'll see, see a bit of him. <laughs> 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 Well, we're all looking forward Don't to Don't bite on that one, Kieran. If you're... <laughs> we'll get the fish... we'll get the fishing line out. Um well we're all looking forward to we're all looking forward to the game at the weekend. And um so how how are preparations going? Is it a case of sort of um another training session tomorrow night to to get to get the game plan across or do you think re- reckon the lads are good to go? Yeah, absolutely. You know, like I say, it's no disrespect to them, they're a good team, real good. They've done have so well so far this season has some great results um, and uh, you know, there's there's no getting away from it they've got some top players so yeah we'll, we'll look forward to it it's going to be a good game that, you know, that's, they'll be coming gunning for a win no doubt um, I'd have thought expecting a win like most teams do that are up there so um, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll go into it with our usual usual manner and hopefully we can get you know get get another positive performance and see what that can do for us. It's, I'm pretty confident if we play to the levels we can, that we can get something for sure. So um, it's just about doing that. And, and yeah, you know, Thursday will be 
will be planning that. They've been playing a 3-5-2 most of the season. They've played a couple of times 4-4-2. You know, we'll, we'll know we'll know what they're doing by the time the team sheet comes through. So, um, you know, we'll be planning for those two potentials. So, we'll see. Brilliant. Well, David, thanks very much for your time. And I look forward to catching up with you after the game on Saturday. No worries. Nice one, mate.